So do you ever go to a sale and if you didn't buy stuff, you feel like totally disappointed? That's kind of how I am right now. It's, I don't like to buy stuff for the sake of buying it. I have to really like it, which is why I didn't buy anything at that estate sale. But I just came to the shop and it is Sunday and I worked for a couple hours, but I'm getting a little antsy. Like I wanna go do something. I am a little tired too. I've been, I've been working really hard. So what I think I'm gonna do is go to the thrift store next door and see what is in there. Maybe we can find something. Would you like to go with me? I think it would be so fun. It's just right next door to the doll shop. So if you ever come to Denver, it's a great thrift store. Sometimes I find wonderful things. Sometimes I find nothing, but let's go see what we can get, hopefully. Okay, so we're just gonna walk over there. It's right over there. Oh, and you know what? My security camera just said there's motion on the side of my building and it's me. It kind of becomes a little addicting because if anyone walks by, I get a notification, but it's good. And I can't wait until we get our fence. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around and you can see the thrift store that we're gonna go to. See the ARC thrift store. I donate stuff to them all the time. They do good things in the community, I like them. And sometimes there's just great things. I hear, I hear um, bagpipes. I know you guys probably can't hear it, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna shimmy on over here and see where those bagpipes are coming from. Do you guys hear the bagpipes? Oh, it's probably that bar up there. It's kind of a cool sound. I, I like, I like hearing them. Let's get a little closer so we can see what's going on. Oh, there he is. Do you guys, do you see him? Right over there. Let's go listen to bagpipes for a minute. What do you think? Should we listen to bagpipes? I can never say no to music. Oh no, they're going inside. Oh, dang it. Well, at least you gotta see some men in kilts. That's not, that. they must be having a little concert here today at this coffee house right up the street. Yeah. Speaking of music, we are going to have a 22 piece orchestra playing in front of the doll shop next Saturday. I'm going to be filming it for the Christmas pageant and I'm gonna be filming it for you. You'll see footage next Saturday, but we're gonna professionally film it with drones and everything for the Christmas pageant. It's gonna be amazing. All right, let's go into the thrift store and see i'm i'm rooting for us right now because we need to we need to get some stuff we need to get some stuff okay let's go inside as you can see they are getting ready for halloween halloween is such a fun holiday i love halloween look at this this is, could you imagine having this on your doorstep that's pretty cool and look at Look at their little cobwebs and everything on the checkout counter. One time I found a fabulous pair of sunglasses here. It was, they were just like designer. I loved them. You know those huge, I don't know if you've seen me wear them, but those huge sunglasses I wear that are orange. I think I got them here. Or maybe it was the, the black pair that I have. But sometimes there's really cute little pieces of costume jewelry and you just never know. And then right over here is usually where the dolls are. And they're always usually ones that I have donated. I didn't donate these ones, but I donate dolls to them and they sell them for good causes and people buy them for gifts and for kids and stuff. So it always works out. I dream of coming over here one day and finding like a, a brew or something, but it hasn't happened yet. Now we're getting into Halloween. They, they really get into Halloween. I, yeah. 
You could dress up as a dollar, a hundred dollar bill. That would be an easy costume. <laughs> so I'm sure you, no matter where you live, you have thrift stores and thrift stores are so much fun because you can just find amazing things. Sometimes you find nothing, but it, it, I'm just amazed by what people will sometimes donate. Good and bad. <laughs> Look at this matrix. You can also come to a thrift store and if and if the clothes are small enough, you could find stuff for your dolls, like little accessories and silly things for your dolls to use and wear. Like, why not? So now I'm gonna take this opportunity to ask you something. What is one of the coolest things you've ever found at a thrift store? I have found at this particular thrift store, some incredible designer clothes. I don't know if the mayor's wife was dropping them off one, one year, but throughout the year I found incredible designer clothes. I have found some great shoes. I have found eh, mostly clothes. They do have like furniture and type things, but I've never found like a great doll yet. But this is Lloyd Lewis. Yeah, this tell me about the, the coolest thing you ever found at a thrift store. A consignment, not, not a consignment shop, today. like a thrift we'll store, kind of like this. If I find a great pair of shoes at a thrift store, I will buy them. You just, you just clean them and I have no problem wearing. In fact, I, I, I would prefer to buy things at a discount like this. Like just take for instance, these Stuart Weitzman's. This is a, a brand that I love. These are too small for me. Yeah, these are a nine. I wear a 10, I have large feet. But Stuart Weitzman's are great. These are leather soled and they're a nice nude color. They're in good condition. They're a little bit high of a platform than I would wear. I wouldn't wear something that high of a platform, but they are darn cute with that little peep toe. They are $12.99. And let's see, so today, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look at that little sign way over there, today, all of the yellow tickets are 50% off right there. But if you come on Saturdays, almost all the tickets are 50% off. And if you come on Tuesdays and you are over 60, everything is 50% off. So if you're watching and you have a size nine, those are, those are adorable. I love Stuart Weitzman. But as you can see, there's like, you know, everywhere you look, like good brands, like here's Neiman Marcus. You can find some great shoes. And then, so these are all half off since they're yellow tickets. Sometimes I find such cute pairs of shoes that aren't even in my size that I'll buy them just because I can't leave them. Have you ever done that? And then I kind of don't know what to do with them, but I haven't done that in a really long time. Those are cute too. I haven't done that in a really long time because then I just, I usually, I, so I give them away, but it's like, what are you gonna do with these? Okay, this is cute. Look at that. Those are adorable. I would put some laces in those. Those are leather. I'd wear those for sure. So when I come to thrift stores, I'm always looking for great brands. This is, this is cute, but I, I really don't like wearing anything too short. This is, uh, this is a, a, a white, white House Black Market, but hmm. I, like, I love a dress with pockets, don't you? But I think that's gonna be too short. We also can't try things on. I am pretty good at knowing my size, so, but I do like to try things on, but that's okay. That would be cute with a jacket over it. I have to, my closet is full, as you know, so I have to be very intentional about anything that I purchase or bring in. You can never go wrong with a little black dress, and I'm pulling at this because I love the little rose detail. It, it, this is deep black. It doesn't show up as black in the camera, but it's very unused. I might try that on. That is an eight. That would fit. Well, I can't try it on. $12.99, hmm. I know that would be really cute on. All right, let's think about that. We are in the dresses. As you know, I wear a lot of dresses. And the reason why I wear a lot of dresses is because I really love dresses. But one of the biggest reasons is because I love that it's your whole outfit. You don't have to, kind of like with the rompers, you don't have to wear 
bottoms and then a top and then figure out everything else. It's just kind of a one-stop shop. And I love a floral print, but I do not like anything that's too deeply cut because I don't want my assets hanging out. It makes me and anyone I'm around uncomfortable. You're, I, I believe that your, your boobs are supposed to reside inside your shirt, not on the outside. So I automatically skip anything that has your bits hanging out. Let's see, this is Michael Kors. Striking out a little bit. Oh no, it's like if I don't get my fix, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is cute. This is Jones, New York. Yeah, that's cute, and it has pockets. But still, if you buy something, you're you're taking it home, and then that means you have to take care of it and put it somewhere. Now we're in the furniture kind of area. I've never found anything over here, but I keep thinking that someday I will, because you just never know what is going to be dropped off. But here's the thing. I Before I moved into the house that I live in now, it was a very small space. And even my house I, is, is a pretty modestly sized house. And you just have to be really intentional. Like our kitchen is already full. And so I don't want to be just bringing stuff in and having stuff just to have stuff. So maybe if I sort of want a waffle maker, I would never buy one really unless I knew I was gonna just be making waffles every single day. Otherwise, I would just probably go out for waffles. Look at these vintage crock pots. Those are kind of cool and I bet they work just as well as the day they were made. Well, if I wanted to dress as a sprinkled donut for Halloween. I just found the jackpot right here. Look at this. You just stick it right over your head like that. That would be a pretty um, pretty easy costume. I'm going to pass on that, but I had to show it to you because isn't that hysterical? Alright, so I, if, if I wanted a scarf that was covered in mustaches, I would have just hit the jackpot with this mustache scarf, but I don't think I'm going to get this today. It's $2.99. It's kind of funny though. So I, this Calvin Klein blazer caught my eye, but then when I looked closely at it, it does have some uh, staining and things, and it's just, it's too risky because you might not be able to get it out. So I usually don't buy anything that has a stain like that because it's probably here because the stain doesn't come out. But sometimes I find fabulous blazers here and you know how expensive blazers are. That's cute. Could you imagine if I pulled this out and it was Chanel? Let's see how much that, $7.99. I used to buy stuff just even if I liked it a little, but I don't do that anymore because that really backfired and I wasn't able to wear even a fraction of the clothes that I had. So I didn't find any blazers I had to get today. These are not my size and if they were, I would not purchase them, but I just had to pull them down because could you imagine wearing these? I mean, honey, that, that, and I love a good heel, but I, that, that would not work for me. This little slicer is great if you want to make noodles out of vegetables. I'm not gonna buy it because I have something similar. I have a little hand crank one, but again, this would take up a lot of space in your kitchen, but if you were gonna make noodles every day, it would be a great thing. Now we're here in the little cookware area. I, I have found like coffee mugs and we're kind of like reusable things in the past. I always look to see if there is just some great cookware and there usually is not. It's usually just super, super worn out. So cookware is something I generally buy new, buy really good stuff and take care of it. You can have great cookware for years and years and years. So now we're getting back into Halloween. 
sometimes they'll put stuff that is made for Halloween, like they think it's Halloween, but it's actually like couture, couture gowns and things like that. So I have actually found cool Halloween, cool things that are that in the Halloween section that were not, that were not actually Halloween. You know what, you know what I'm trying to say. Temptation wig. Oh yeah. Well, if I had that wig, I'd be tempted to go and get my hair redone. But there we go. Sister's about to get out her ruler. And she's going to come get you. This is crazy. I'm not, I can't believe I'm not finding anything. Maybe it's just meant to be that I'm not supposed to spend money today. And that is not a bad thing. That is not a bad thing. We're just cruising now. If you needed some canes or not canes, uh, crutches. I think those are, I think they're actually really expensive. It'd be, it'd be great if you needed some at the time to find them in a, at a place like this. Uh, it looks like all kinds of camping type equipment, maybe workout type stuff. Uh, this is like laptop cases and lots of luggage. Golf equipment. Badminton, tennis. Rollerblading. Oh, do you guys remember ice rollerblading and just skating? Did you ever go to those skate rinks when you were younger? And oh, it was so fun going to. We used to have Skate City when I was a when I was little. Oh man, it was so fun. But when you would fall, that would be the worst. Bowling. I haven't been bowling in so long. Are there any of you bowlers out there? Well, there's nothing that I have to have over here in the sports section. Look at this little deep diving suit right there. A singer sewing machine. I wonder if it works. It must. I think they try everything that they bring in here. This is an old workhorse right here for sure. It's $250, but if you came on Tuesday, it would be half off. And then whatever day is blue, it would be half off. So if anyone is in Colorado and needs a Singer sewing machine, here you go. They work great. It's what we use at the shop. Kids clothes can be crazy expensive. And when I have kids, I, I'm gonna, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be buying the clothes secondhand. Uh, of course, for special occasion type things and cute things that you can only buy new, I will do that. But when they're growing and stuff, like the, you do, kids hardly wear hardly wear anything because they grow out of them so fast. And you can just get things at places like this or at garage sales. Make sure to wash them real well. And you don't. I, I'm not spending tons of money on kids' clothes. You can tell I kind of I kind of have babies on the brain a little bit. Just a little bit. Wouldn't that be amazing if that was one of my studio size, full size Raggedy Ann's? That would be cool. But no, he looks cute sitting there though. When we've needed towels and things in the past for cleaning, I've bought them here. And I also buy dog blankets here, back there. I don't need any right now, but I buy them here and I always make sure they're half off. This is an example of the type of top you could wear with leggings because you see how the back of it would cover your assets. I really love tops like this. I like when they come down in the back and they cover your your assets and then you can wear them. This is cute. Uh, let's see, $5. If there's no line, I might have to snag this. That's a cute little tunic, little tunic top. Well, this little guy's throwing a tantrum on the floor. So maybe I'm gonna not have babies on the brain for a while. 
lots of Halloween decorations. I don't know. I think I'm I'm going in, I'm going straight into Christmas. I was if I do Halloween, then it's then it's kind of a big undertaking, but I love decorating for Halloween, don't get me wrong. But I'm going real big for Christmas this year. So, I'm probably going to skip the Halloween decorations as much as much fun as Halloween is. And once those gray dolls ship out at the end of the month, I'm going straight into Halloween. Not Halloween, Christmas. Oh, nice. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. So. It's a cute little snow globe. This girl's in here like, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Help. <laughs> I just had to show you these shoes. It's hard for you to tell from here what size, like how big they are, but these are huge. I'm looking at it right now. They are a US 20, mm -hmm. size 20. These are amazing shoes. They look oversized, kind of like like for a display, but wow, size 20 shoes. That's pretty amazing. Well, this is a good lesson, which means if you don't find something that is really good that you actually need, you don't need to buy anything. And it's it that can be that can be tough, especially when you're in the mood to buy something. So yeah it is a good lesson do you see how long that line is that's why i didn't buy the cute top that was five dollars because uh, this line is just way too long i'm i'm not going to do it plus if i come back a different day i might even get it for half off <laughs> get it for two dollars and fifty cents that would be even better all right i think we're leaving the thing I'm kind of relieved I'm kind of relieved and the thing about it is so much stuff can can come your way so much wonderful things when I say stuff I mean it could be just anything wonderful so even if you want to get a fix don't buy something just for the sake of buying something sometimes you just have to walk away empty-handed I didn't find anything over there, but it's nice that it's so close to the doll shop. Okay, so we just walked back in here. I'll show you the doll shop. There it is. I never get sick of this view. This is on South Broadway. There's a lot of wonderful antique stores, and there's a great sandwich shop right over, over there across the street. There's a masquerade store, great antique stores. One of my best friend, Bob's. There's his antique store, that big barn. It's amazing. It's a co-op place. The antique brokers down there. There's a great Creole restaurant right there. There's a 20th century store there. There's just, there's a liquor store. <laughs> there's all kinds of great things. So, but there's also a wonderful pink doll shop. We are, st I, I still am not open for just walk-ins because I'm, you, you know what I'm doing. I'm renovating. I'm doing just so much that I, I can't have just random people in because I have just stuff everywhere. We are open by appointment, which is just so much safer for me, for the dolls, for everyone that works there. It's just, it is for the best. So anyway, here we are, but it's nice to be able to just kind of walk around and go thrifting if I want. And this is our parking lot. We have the most parking on South Broadway, which I love. It comes in handy. And our symphony orchestra is going to be right here with tw 22 people playing classical music in front of our shop next Saturday. We have so much to look forward to. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was fun. I'm going to go, now I'm going to go to Costco and figure out something yummy for dinner. Okay. Bye everybody.